Holt euch was zu essen. Jawohl. Jawohl. Ja. Frisch aus der Ausbildung. Halbe Kinder. Je älter der Krieg, desto jünger die Soldaten. Bis der Oberleutnant sagt, alle Urlaube sind gestrichen. Wir brauchen im Moment jeden Mann, um die Offensive vorzubereiten. Arnhem, September 1944. Kampfgruppe von Tetau, reinforced by the 9th SS Panzer Division Hohenstaufen and 10th SS Panzer Division Frunsberg, turned the city into a graveyard for the British 1st Airborne Division. The Battle of Arnhem spelled the disastrous end to Operation Market Garden, leaving an everlasting stain on the reputation of British Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery. Hi Channel, welcome back to the War Room. Kampfgruppe von Tetau was a quick reaction force equivalent to seven battalions made up of all manner of German units, including here, Luftwaffe, Kriegsmarine, Rear Echelon, and SS troops. In today's video, we will examine impressions on the two principal forces of the Kampfgruppe, the Luftwaffe Flak Truppen and SS Schule Arnheim. When the 1st Airborne Division landed, one of the first formations hastily drawn up to counter were the Fliegerhorst battalions of the Luftwaffe. These Air Force troops were responsible for the maintenance and defense of airfields, along with the manning of concentrated anti-air formations. This figure is typical of a Flak Truppen pressed into infantry combat. He wears the iconic Luftwaffe uniform, designed with a sleek modernity distinct from its Heer and SS counterparts. The tunic is adorned with Luftwaffe insignia, including the striking red shoulder boards and collar tabs signifying his anti-aircraft role. His uniform exudes professionalism and readiness. His eagle-adorned sidecap is casually tucked under his belt buckle, both bearing symbols of the Luftwaffe. For infantry combat, our soldier dons the iconic M40 Stahlhelm of the Luftwaffe, camouflaged with foliage. The soldier has flipped his collar out in the fashion of North African and Mediterranean light infantry, a dash of the Air Force's flair for chasing combat fashion. Adorning his chest proudly is the Luftwaffe flak badge, awarded to distinguished batteries from anti-aircraft engagements. His kit also slightly differs from regular infantry. Flak troops often forego entrenchment tools, and their Y straps lack the customary attachment points for carrying additional gear and assault packs. At the squad, or Zug, level, these men were typically devoid of heavy machine guns, relying instead on bolt action rifles for firepower and were generally reluctant for infantry combat. While they could be relied on to provide relatively accurate rifle fire at long range, thanks to Luftwaffe's continuous infantry training, these men suffered from low morale in the close quarter combat against British paratroopers. Flak troops were mainly deployed to support the battle with direct fire from their anti aircraft guns, and in desperate times, bulk up ad hoc assault groups led by other units. Compared to the Flak troops, the SS Schule Arnheim represented a stark contrast in battlefield presence. The SS Unterführer Schule Arnheim, established in 1943 as a NCO academy within the Waffen SS, was deployed along the River Wall south of Arnhem to fortify its defense. Its cadets had undergone rigorous training and were often highly decorated from the Eastern Front. Organized into three battalions, these NCO cadets, though lacking heavy weaponry and motorized transports, more than made up with their exceptional leadership qualities and indomitable courage. This cadet holds the rank of Fahnenjunker Unteroffizier, aspirant officer. He's wearing the M43 P. Dot uniform over his tunic and is equipped as a squad leader with an MP40 and map pouch. True to a seasoned veteran, he has concealed his deadly profile by camouflaging his peak cap with netting and scrap cloth. These NCOs, saturated in German battle groups, was a catalyst for Kampfgruppe von Tetau's success. Their leadership in lower levels enabled the Mishmash battle group to successfully execute combined arms assaults and dismantled British resistance with precision and efficiency. Before we fade out, I want to give a big shout out to my fellow 1 6th collector Big Caesar 95. It has been really encouraging to follow his channel's consistency and growth in the last year. Link in the description below, I'm looking forward to see how our community grows. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did putting it together. Please subscribe. I love what I do. This is The War Room, signing off.